All right, I've gotten my Ashford table loom out of storage, and I made some modifications to the apron rod, which I have another video on YouTube showing how I did that. And now I want to incorporate a shuttle race. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube, and it gave me an idea on how to 3D print a bracket that fits on the beater bar. So I played around with a couple of ideas. This one fit well, but I thought I needed an angle on it, and it turned out the angle ended up messing uh, with the uh, the warp. It was by the time you pulled the beater bar forward, the angle was uh, was way too much. And, and these were a couple of others that I played with, and I had to get the right height of it also because I wanted the uh, warp to rest on the shuttle race and so how you hang your heddles in here or your uh, frames makes a difference so I kind of went by the way the manual says and there's about a half inch space between the castle and the top of these heddles and um, that seems to work just fine so um, this will fit if you have it mounted uh, on, on the way that the manual tells you to here is the little bracket that I made and it's just wedged in there I put some holes that you could screw it in if you wanted to but all you have to do is loosen the screw at the back wedge it in there and tighten that up and it stays really well and I don't I don't really want to put any holes in my loom because something better may come along later and I wish I didn't so um, uh, another thing that I do is I'll, sometimes I'll uh, stretch a, a rubber band around it to hold it on to the back and I'll put my lease stick in so I can show you how I attach it on there. Okay, if you're worried about this popping off, all you have to do is take a rubber band and wrap it around the beater bar like that and then just hook it on and then for the lace stick and I'll try to do this without it falling out the other end you can take a rubber band and hook it onto this wing nut on the back of the loom or on the back of the beater bar and just hook it on there like that and that keeps I haven't had any problems with it falling out like that, so that's another option for attaching it. You can also use double-sided tape, but I found that it doesn't hold very well. Um, you can permanently mount it to these because I've included some holes to put a screw through there, but to me this is a whole lot easier than, and it's easier to store like this too, just to take the brackets off. I, I'm planning on just leaving them in there. And uh, anytime I want to use the uh, stick, all I have to do is just kind of hang it on there like that. So, all right, let's throw the shuttle using the one and an eighth inch wide board. Oops, got a false start there. So to me, that one works a whole lot better than the uh, lease stick. So um, you got a pros and cons for both of them. But if you keep your weaving in the right area, this one works fine. Okay, here's a close-up of what it looks like when you use this one and an eighth inch wide. It's a little over an inch wide board. So as you come toward the fell line and you start beating, the edge of this starts to get level and then it starts tilting upwards. So you don't want to weave and see now my reed has reached the fail line but you don't want to weave more than um, you don't want to get too close to this beam over here you want to keep it a couple of inches away and this size uh, board I think is the best you can use a leaf stick All right, this is the throw in the shuttle with using the lease stick. And I have quite a bit of distance between the uh, reed and the fail line. So tighten that up a little bit because I can tell it's a little bit loose. All right. So 
So that did pretty good. That You can tell there's still quite a bit of support even using the small leaf stick. And this is the close-up using the leaf stick. It works pretty well too and it's actually better for the weaving. But you have to be a bit more careful when you throw your shuttle because it doesn't have as much support as the, um, the little bit wider board. So there's all kinds of things you can use. You can use a yardstick or whatever. You can just try out different widths to see which one you like the best.